The weather might be frigid this time of year, but the prospects for the American agriculture industry are bright. Commodity prices are healthy, fueling a multi-billion dollar industry. But here on the plains of the Indiana heartland and across the U.S., the fortunes of one of its pillars, the American family farmer, are fading. You see more and more of the farms, you know, slowly, slowly dwindling away. There's getting to be fewer farmers in the county every year. At an average age of 58, farmers here are getting older. And as massive farms, some corporate owned, keep swallowing up smaller ones, they're getting fewer. I do believe I was meant, meant to come back to the family farm and, and continue on alongside with my dad. Dan and Kelly Snipes are part of an Indiana State program to get more young people interested in farming. We have fewer and fewer people who have been involved in farming. So today, uh, just 1% of people are farmers. So we have kind of a growing disconnect between our population and uh, food production. But I also believe that may be shifting. Here at Loyola, we see a strong interest among uh, students who are you know, late teens, early 20s, and they're very interested in getting involved with the food system. Young farmers now even have their own dating sites. You don't have to be lonely at FarmersOnly.com. But there's a catch. Starting a farm is expensive. A new tractor can cost tens to hundreds of thousands of dollars. A new combine like those over there can go for 300 to 500,000. And then of course, there's the land. So few young people who haven't inherited a farm can ever afford to own one. The Snipes, with the help of a golden retriever named Farmer, are the fourth generation of Dan's family to work this land. If you want to um, own a large grain operation, you know, corn, soybeans, wheat, uh, which is what you, know, you see grown around here in Indiana, um, unfortunately, you really do have to be born into it um, or extremely wealthy. They're struggling to carry on the family tradition. Each also works an outside job, hoping one day this farm will be running full time, as it did for the past four generations. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Rochester, Indiana.